hello everyone. Uh, my name is Philip. I'm an R Fund scout with Revuto, and I'm a Cardano community enthusiast and active for some time. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about existing Cardano wallets uh, and uh, give you some examples about them. So let's talk first of all about what is a wallet, right? So uh, a blockchain wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet is a piece of software that basically interacts with the blockchain itself and in the, in the case of Cardano because of the UTXO model the wallet's job is to crawl through the blockchain and gather all the UTXOs in a single address and kind of present that in a human readable format, let's say. A uh, wallet is also used to uh, create transactions, so basically to send cryptocurrency and to view the received cryptocurrency uh, in case of Cardano, uh, Cardano's native token ADA and all the, all the rest of the, of the native tokens on the Cardano blockchain. Right, so basically we have two types of wallet, wallets, generally speaking. Uh, first, we have a full node wallet. Uh, full node wallets uh, require the download of the whole blockchain with all of its history. Uh, Cardano blockchain currently is in, in a range of about 10 to 15 gigabytes and it's uh, increasing. Uh, for example, Bitcoin full node is larger than 300 gigabytes. Uh, so to, to have a full node wallet, you have to download the whole blockchain history, keep it on your computer, and then the wallet software interacts with that data on the computer itself, right? So from the examples here, we have Daedalus. Uh, that, is a, that is a full node wallet for Cardano. Uh, so it, it requires a long download, a long sync time, uh, and it's, uh, it, it's, let's say, preferred for some enthusiasts who, who like, you know, to have the full wallet on their own computer and to help decentralization of the whole blockchain because the whole idea is to have as many copies of the ledger of the blockchain, a, a, as many as possible to, to prevent any kind of tampering, let's say. So Daedalus is a full node wallet uh, developed by IOHK, the, the company that uh, basically created Cardano. A uh, second example we have here is Yoroi and uh, Yoroi is an, a, an example of the second type of wallet which is called Light Wallet. So Light Wallets uh, perform in the same way as full node wallets do except they do not communicate with the blockchain on the device itself, right? So if you can install Yoroi on your mobile phone, you can have it as a browser extension. So when you install it on your mobile phone, you don't actually download the whole blockchain. Uh, it's just that the software itself communicates with a node that is somewhere on the internet. So that reduces, you know, download time, sync time, and uh, it enables, you know, easy installation. Yoroi is the, the first light wallet that was created by Emergo, one of the founding entities of, of Cardano. It supports native tokens, it supports uh, voting through Catalyst, uh, it's, it's an all-around good wallet. Recently there, there were some criticisms maybe about the, you know, the upgrades that maybe should have been there. And uh, we, we have seen recently a rise of community-made light wallets that actually have some more features and, uh, and we'll go through them in a bit. So the next stop is NAMI wallet. NAMI has been uh, developed by Alessandro Conrad. He is a long-term contributor to Cardano, active community member, creator of SpaceBuds, one of the first large NFT projects. Uh, he created NAMI wallet as a browser extension. Uh, NAMI was also one of the first wallets to have, let's say, a DAP connector. So it was... Uh, integrated to have, uh, you know, functionality with websites so that you can actually use it as a, as a smart contract connector. Uh, NAMI has been uh, developed, uh, you know, following the Yoroi's philosophy building on it. 
It has uh, also a visual representation of, uh, of some native tokens of NFTs and fungible tokens as well. Next up, we have CC Vault. Uh, CC Vault is also a community developed wallet. It also supports some advanced functionalities. You can go deeper into the settings. You can go deeper into the different UTXOs are represented. Uh, it has a lot more functionality. Uh, it also now has an Android app, an iOS app. Uh, it, it is connected to uh, some of the, it has a DAP connector, so it, ha it, it is connected to, let's say, Muesli Swap or Sunday Swap. So you can use it for, you know, trading on, on those DEXs. Uh, next up, we have Game Changer. Uh, Game Changer is also a community-made wallet created by Adriano Florenza. He is uh, an Argentinian Cardano enthusiast, and he basically created the wallet by himself. And it has a very appealing uh, visual interface. It has also an NFT minting function, which is, uh, which is very interesting. You can basically mint NFTs directly from the wallet. It's very user-friendly. So it's you know, definitely one of the options that, uh, that someone can you know, consider and see and test out for themselves. It also supports uh, testnet and mainnet feature, uh, as do uh, all of these wallets, actually. Uh, NAMI, additionally, uh, supports Milcomeda testnet functionality. Uh, Milcomeda is an upcoming sidechain of, of Cardano uh, based on the EVM technology. So if you want to build in an EVM style on Cardano, you can use NAMI to kind of interact with those smart contracts. And then, uh, uh, last but definitely not the least, we have the Revuto Wallet. Uh, Revuto Wallet was uh, created as a native mobile application, uh, first and foremost to serve Revuto users, to, to integrate the Revuto functionality with, with its own native wallet. It, it supports uh, ADA, of course, it's a non-custodial wallet, so of course you keep your, your keys as, as with all the rest of them. It supports Revu, and uh, there, there is an upcoming uh, support for uh, the rest of the native tokens in the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, Revuto wallet, like I said, was created to support Revuto and Revuto's own use case and the uh, goal and the idea of the wallet is to be as simple and as user-friendly for uh, Revuto users and uh, we're constantly building on it, developing it and uh, you know trying to improve, trying to listen to, to you guys and see what we can add and how we can add it. Uh, there are a few more wallets that I know of uh, that are in the, in the Cardano ecosystem. Please feel free to share them in the comments. Uh, please feel free to say what is your favorite wallet, what functionalities you like to see, you like to have, and uh, give us suggestions for our own wallet. What, what would you like to see developed in, in Revuto Wallet's future? Thank you very much for your time.